Good afternoon. My name is Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 18568 Southwest Coalfelt Lane here in Sherwood, Oregon. We're located at the front of the home and there's a 3 inch ABS clean out embedded in the concrete patio. This will be the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently have uh, water introduced to the line. get going here in just a second. Here at 19 feet from the point of access, it transitions to 6 inch PVC pipe. Everything looks good so far. Okay, and here at 48 feet from the point of access, we have reached the main lateral up on southwest Cofelt. I'm going to go ahead and get the water turned off with the line drain out completely. Uh, there is a few different spots in the line where there, it looks, there appears to be standing water. I'd like to see how those drain out here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start rolling back. The line is uh, totally drained out now, and it does appear that we've got standing water all the way uh, to the main lateral here. So. I'm going to stop and locate. I'll mark here with the green T, and then I'll uh, mark the beginning of the standing water. I think there's two different sections. Okay, I went ahead and marked here at 48 feet. This is the connection to the main. <clears throat> As you can see, there's stand <clears throat> sorry, standing water persists all the way to the uh, connection. I marked here with a green T. It's only three feet six inches deep. It's pretty shallow. Difficulty with shallow mains like that is you only have so much room to grade a pipe. And here at 38 feet is where the uh, belly ends. I'll go ahead and mark here. I'll mark here with a green X. Okay, I marked here. This is the beginning of the belly. It's uh, also out in the, this whole belly from 38 feet to 48 feet is out uh, in the street, obviously. Uh, so I'd contact the uh, city to see if they'll take responsibility for the belly in the line, or at the very least uh, know about it. Okay they uh, decide not to fix it and want to clean it periodically or something like that. Um, it's best to inform the city though. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reel back here. It's, uh, I'm getting a depth of three feet. So it, it would appear that there's gray. The line gets deeper deeper but it is uh, obviously lost grays. There's a big old belly in the line. Uh, there's about two inches of standing water and uh, a lot of debris built up in it. So I'm going to recommend a spot repair there to correct the grade. And there's also another belly here, and it looks like this one dissipates at about Sorry, I'm trying to find where the water settles into place here. It looks like right here at about 32 feet is where uh, this belly appears to end at. 
I'm going to go ahead and I'll mark either end of this belly with a green X. I'll mention the depths here in just a minute. Okay, I've marked here with a green X. It's at the uh, sidewalk or in the uh, grass curb strip uh, just before the street starts. I'm going to go ahead and reel back here to the beginning of this belly and get it marked with another green X. It looks like the uh, standing water pretty much uh, starts there at the PVC section. Just about the entire PVC section has lost grade. There's just a small, like, three or four foot section in the middle that uh, pops out with the, almost the entire thing. 90% of it has standing water in it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put an X here. And so the, uh, there's two bellies. One stretches from here at 19 feet to 32 feet, and then the other is from 48, I'm sorry, from 38 feet to 48 feet. Okay, I've gone ahead, I, I uh, marked here with a green T actually as it's the transition from ABS to PVC. And again, uh, pretty much 90% of the uh, PVC part of the line has lost grade. There's about one to two inches of standing water across the uh, entire thing uh, with quite a bit of debris built up in it. So that's why I'm recommending um, a repair to correct the grade uh, so that that doesn't cause issues uh, emptying out, especially uh, if it builds up enough debris that it causes problems with the three inch pipe emptying out, that's where you're going to probably see your blockages occur. I'm going to go ahead and uh, reel back. And again, I do recommend contacting the city uh, to see if they'll take responsibility for it or at least uh, keep an eye on it if it needs to be uh, cleaned out periodically. And either end of this repair here is 3 feet 7 inches deep. All the ABS pipe drains out just fine uh, and is in good condition. 